hello welcome to the class of wireshark today we are going to discuss about the intelligent scroll bar and the packet indicator so in this i have captured some packet here and you just analyze this is the intelligent scroll bar so here you can see that it mentions some color eyes so as you click over to these option these colors it will get to that packets quickly so if i click over to this here it will get over to this tcp bad tcp packets quickly and if i click over to this here it will go to this tcp packets having the uh, port number 80 same way this intelligent scroll bars make the analyzing of this packet easier so these intelligent scroll bars give the very tall and skinny view of the coloring scenes over the packet list pane and it makes the analyzing of this packet easier so it is the miniature coloring view of this packet list pane and Wireshark introduced this intelligent scroll bar in its version second so this is how it is helpful in analyzing these packets quickly so you just click over to here the particular pack if you know the color of the packet you just click over to that like i want this red color packet so you just find it from here and you can get this packet here so this is how we can make use of this, this intelligent scroll bar to quickly analyze this packets so next is about the packet indicator so here this line is indicates some relationship between the packets so let's discuss about this so this the starting so this edge indicates the start of the stream or the start of the conversation here and next week if you see some packets So here you just analyze this packet number 18 and the packet number 22 you can see here the packet number 80 is the standard query and same with the packet number 22 is the standard query response it means these two arrow signs indicate the request and response relationship between these two packets so whenever it this arrow will show up in this it will indicate the relationship between these two packets next to it these dotted sign so these dotted sign in this packet indicator indicates that there is no these packets are not same as that the selected one so as here i selected this packet so these packets in between these packets are not related to this packet or they are not same to this packet so So next there is a sign of double tick. So if you want to get that packet, you just find out that packet here. And uh, sorry. As I want the packet. So here you can yes this one so this double tick sign it also indicates some meaning in this packet list pane so this double sign indicates that the selected packet is the duplicate of this packet it means as i have selected packet this so this packet is the this one packet is a duplicate copy of this packet so it 816 packet and 818 packet is or the duplicate copy of their each other so this double sign whenever it occur in this trace file it will indicate the duplication of these packets so somewhere it also indicates with some single tick like this one this 800 packet as it show by the single tick as i see like this 812 packet it indicates this packet with the single tick so this packet is acknowledgement by the selected packet it means this packet have the acknowledgement in this packet you can see that this is the tcp packet with acknowledgement and here it returns the acknowledgement to this particular packet and same way if you we go to this 
with the last packet here you can analyze the end of the stream so this edge will indicates the end of this stream in this trace file so this is how we can analyze these packets according to this packet indication so this is all about the intelligent scroll bar and the packet indicator thank you